Hey y'all, guess what day it is? That's right folks, it's moving day, and as promised, I have some rehousings that I need to do here this evening. You can see we have four tarantulas that need to be rehoused. We have two new worlds and two old worlds, so I am going to get set up. You guys go and grab a snack and a drink. Let's meet back here and let's rehouse some tarantulas. Okay, so as I mentioned, we had two new worlds, two old worlds. Uh, I think I failed to mention that all four of them are arboreal, although only two of them right now, the new worlds, are exhibiting arboreal behavior. The other two are still pretty much fossorial, but they all pretty much need a larger enclosure at this point. So, me being the crazy devil may care fool that I am, we'll start with the easy new worlds first, and then we'll save the old worlds for last. So, this ought to be a uh, pretty, pretty easy transfer with these guys. Um, they are pretty chill. I've actually handled both of these uh, a few times. Them being the old world and uh, kind of in the uh, avicularia category, which I forgot to mention. These are my two avicularia azura classy, the powder blue pink toe. I got three of them. One of them mysteriously disappeared, which, of course, we all know avics are, avic and carabinas are kind of notorious for. And that was a pretty easy transfer, as usual. But we're not done yet. We've still got three more tarantulas. There is the first Azura Classy wanting to try to make a run for it. It's in its new home, maybe. It's on my elbow. Now if I could just get it to go onto the enclosure. I have never had an avicularia spook like that, so it's kind of unusual. And it's taking a run up my shirt and back down my shirt. Back down my arm. Oop. Hold on guys, let me get this little bugger under control. All right, so I would like to apologize for that, and as I was saying, nice and easy for me, I was bragging, and of course, this tarantula um, set me straight. So here we go. Let's try again. I've honestly never had either one of these uh, bolt like that. And they usually uh, move pretty slow and deliberately, kind of like uh, avicularia do, and I actually had it in the enclosure there, uh, and then it all of a sudden decided to take a little bit of a run. I'll just give you a brief look at the enclosure and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the lid on that and then we'll move on to the next one. All right, so here we go with the next one. Um, I also realized there when I took that break that my hands were um, quite dirty in that last, that first bit of the video. That was because I spent half the day working on my truck trying to get it back on the road again. Uh, I'm one of those guys, like most of us from the South, unless it's something really major like an engine uh, overhaul or transmission rebuild. I want to do it myself. This was a brakes issue. I did get it fixed. So and now my hands are all clean. Also, I want to apologize. I said, oh yeah, this ought to be an easy rehouse. I really kicked myself in the, uh, the behind there, I guess. And then of course it went in nice and easy. And I thought, oh, there we go. It was nice and easy. I was bragging. And then all of a sudden that thing decided to kind of take a run for some reason. Though I'm still not sure what. So I figure I might take a different approach to this one. And hopefully it will go pretty well. Like I said, I have never really had any, um, like, exhibitions of bolting out of either one of these. Here is the second Azure, uh, Vicularia Azura Classy. The powder blue pink toe. They look like your typical, uh, Vicularia at this point, at this stage in their life but they will kind of put on some of those adult colors. They, um, the Azure Classy looks really similar to, um, it's on the outside of the enclosure. Boy, these guys are really jumpy. I've never seen them act like this. It's because they're on camera, I guess. There we go. Okay, so, oh, gosh. Come on, guys. So they look like your typical avicularia, like um, the A metallicas and and the like when they get to adult size. But uh, there we go. We got both of them in, in their house. I hope since the new worlds were such trouble, the old worlds will be nice and easy peasy because 
if the old worlds are worse than this, then we're all in for a hell of a night, guys. Let me get set up for the old worlds, and let's come back, and let's see what happens. Alright, and so this time I am going to try uh, a slightly different technique. We're going to do the uh, tub method. Uh, maybe kind of go go back to uh, like what Petco likes to do with having the tub and everything. But with these guys being an old world, although I don't have not seen them much lately. I mean, you just got to be ready that they will be fast. This first one here is... Um, a for pick from for pictopus, excuse me, not for mictopus, um, Fermingochylus. I'm sorry. Um, this is a Fermingochylus species. Actually, both of them are uh, Fermingochylus, and they're both arboreal. Although, like I said, they have been exhibiting um, kind of fossorial behaviors at this point. This is the Fermingochylus species Rufus, which is a really gorgeous uh, tarantula. This is the one that I have seen uh, a lot more of over the other one, which we will reveal that in just a second. Hmm. That won't quite fit in there like I need it to. And I may have to just get this thing out. Um into the tub and then transfer it to another vial because we'll try to here we go got it on the outside of this file now if it would just remain still for just a second we'll get a re really good look at it this is a very gorgeous species of tarantula and I'm super excited to own it um, how I came across this one and the other one they essentially were free from um, pout friction tarantulas because of a mistake that they made on an order of mine and then they uh, gave me store credit and this is going to be one of those videos where every single tarantula gives me grief while I'm trying to get it in its new enclosure anyhow so I used that store credit for Two Old World Arboreals and two Old World Fossorials or Terrestrials. And you can see it is hiding back underneath that moss now, which is good. It's not trying to uh, constantly get out of its enclosure like the uh, Vicularies did. So there is one Old World Rehouse without much uh, trouble. So let's hope that the last one goes best. And so this one here, I have not seen anything out of for quite a while, but I do know that it's still alive because um, I put prey in and then the prey is gone, but I rarely ever see it. This one is extremely fossorial, and it's obviously in this plug of stuff right here. There's an old molt. This is the Formingochylus uh, arboricola. Uh, recently had a name change. I forget what, uh, its scientific name was before that. There's another molt. But it is now called the, uh, Formingochylus arboricola. Uh, another very gorgeous arboreal old world, um, Asian tarantula. Beautiful black tarantula that... Still has yet to appear for us, which is quite unusual. Want to be careful so that I don't harm it wherever it may be. <clears throat> Excuse me, in this big wad of webbing. I'm starting to kind of lose faith and confidence as I tear through all this. And I still have yet to see some movement um, or a tarantula. So I'm hoping that it's going to pop out of here pretty soon. I mean, at this point, I've been digging long enough that 
I would be okay with a bolt. I think I see movement. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There it is. Whew, what a relief. Just kind of worried there for a second. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing in a vial, and then maybe we can look at it for just a second. Uh, and then we'll try to get it in this enclosure. It definitely did some uh, bolting there, but nothing that was, like, uh, uncontrollable. Yeah, there for a second I was really worried that um, it wasn't alive or whatever anymore, but it just had a nice big or nice little web hammock tube thing um, that was keeping it inside. Okay, maybe it will settle down for just a second here. And I can show you guys, again, a little sling, so uh, not much to uh, look at or see so far. Really wish I could get it to kind of spread out and show itself, but I don't really want to take any chances with uh, any more bolts. So I'm just going to lay that down in there. And maybe to end this video, since everything has been kind of far away and maybe even out of focus, we'll zoom in a little bit. Get my camera set right. Sorry, guys. I'm still a crappy cameraman. And this was kind of a rushed video anyway. So here we go. Last tarantula getting ready to go into its new home. Hopefully, um, without any bolting. And there it goes. And it's underneath cork bark. And we've got four tarantulas rehoused. Um, that's it, I guess. Uh, it, went, it went okay, but it also went kind of crazy. Like, it could have gone either way there as far as, like, um, more or less one or the other. I've had much better, smoother, uh, multiple rehousings than this one. But, you know, it could have been crazier. Sorry if it wasn't too exciting for some of you guys, um, but for the rest of you, I really did hope, I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know with a thumbs up and a comment. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Um, share this video with your friends if you don't think it'll bore the piss out of them. Uh, and that's all I've got. Hey, take care of yourselves and each other, guys. Hope you have a great day or great night wherever you are. Thanks for watching. God bless.